That show famously said to George Bush Sr., don't go wobbly on me, George. Um, <laughs> not quite sure which one of my experiences I can add to that. I suppose probably uh, traveling on Air Force One on the way back from Dayton, Ohio, this great basketball game uh, Barack Obama took me to. On the way back, it was about four o'clock in the morning, UK time, so he said, uh, David, why don't you use my bed and put your feet up? So I duly did. And Barack went to the back of the plane and explained to my private secretary and the team, he said, don't worry, the British Prime Minister's fine, I've just tucked him up in bed. <laughs> I don't think that's happened before. I hope you uh, get on better tonight than I, I did at the White House banquet, where, of course, uh, I had the huge honour of sitting next to Michelle Obama. The only problem was the man on her other side was George Clooney. And I, uh, I'm quite difficult to compete, uh, but I hope... Uh, the men here all managed to find a, a, a way through that. Look, I, I'm, you're all about to have your dinner. I don't want to get in the way of that. I just want to say three things to you about why this is so important. We all know in our country, reason number one, we all know in our country we need a massive rebalancing between the public sector and the private sector. We all know whoever was in government right now, you'd be having to make some cuts in public spending, some difficult decisions. So we need the private sector to grow and create the investment and the growth and the jobs so that we can give people a good future in our country. And that comes down to all of you, the businesses in this room. So we want to do everything we can to help you to grow, to expand, to offer those work experience places and those jobs. It's absolutely vital for our country, reason number one. Reason number two is it's absolutely vital right here in West Oxfordshire. We don't have a single big employer in West Oxfordshire. Obviously there's RAF Prize Norton, obviously there's the council itself, there are some great businesses like uh, Renault just down the road in Enstone who employ almost 500 people, there's uh, what was Oxford Instruments, uh, now effectively Siemens employs several hundred people, there's Blenheim, you're here tonight somewhere, you employ several hundred people, obviously right here Heathrow Park employs several hundred people, but there's no one big employer, we are an area that relies on ingenious small businesses to provide the growth and the jobs that local people need too. So this is particularly important that you're here tonight celebrating what small business does. And that leads me to my third point, which is it's right we celebrate business. We have the Oscars for the arts and for culture and media and the rest of it, but we don't do enough in our country to celebrate business, to celebrate enterprise, to celebrate what you do when you get up in the morning and you create jobs, you create wealth, you create a future for our country. So I think it's absolutely right you're having this award ceremony tonight. And I just want to ask you to do one thing on behalf of the whole country. And it's this. You probably don't know it, but you're all great role models. You've set up and worked in and are succeeding in businesses. Now, we've just heard from two fantastic role models behind us. What Matt has done is extraordinary and it's inspiring to see his book and to read about his story. But all of you and what you've done in business actually are great role models too. And we need to create a more pro-business, pro-enterprise culture in our country. So what I want to ask you to think about over the next year, and some of you may do this already, but what can you do in terms of going into our schools and talking to young people about what business is all about? If we want to be a business-friendly country, if we want a country that really venerates enterprise, the best thing is to hear people's stories about how they did it and how they do it every day. It's not facts and figures. I can tell you about how many businesses, how many, small, how many jobs small business create as opposed to big businesses. But it's not facts and figures people need, it's stories. When we put our children to bed at night, we don't, list, we don't reel off lists of facts and figures, we tell them stories. You've all got great stories to tell about how you set up in business, about how you grow, about what you do, about how it works. And we need to tell those stories in our schools so that as people grow up, as young people grow up, of course, many will think about becoming doctors or, or nurses or teachers or soldiers or police officers. We need all those public services, but we also need great entrepreneurs and the businesses that are going to take on the world in the future. So as you celebrate tonight, rightly, what you do in terms of business and enterprise, let's recognise, as Mick has recognised, the social responsibility that comes with business success. And let's make this a genuinely pro-enterprise country. Have a great night. Best of luck. You're all winners. Thank you very much.